The million dollar transportation facility is now open in downtown Cleveland in honor of late Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs Jones. Kristen Severance with the Ohio News Network was there for the dedication. And Chris, this is very special because this is RTA's first downtown hub for buses. Yeah, all the buses that you usually see going up and down Euclid Avenue here, now they have a central spot to turn around and to pick up thousands of passengers every single day. And state and city leaders tell me that this hub this hub for RTA buses, like the one that is about to pass me right now, that would not have been possible without the help of Stephanie Tubbs Jones. This $9.3 million downtown Cleveland Transit Center has been in the works for nearly 10 years. It's a place where buses can turn around, uh, passengers can transfer buses, and can have more of a central center. The center was a collaboration between CSU, RTA, and the city of Cleveland, but the Focus Tuesday wasn't on the brand new structure. It was on the woman whom the center was named after, late Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs Jones. Through her tireless support of public transit, Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs Jones obtained funding to get the ball rolling on this project. This facility and the sculpture of Stephanie will stand as a daily reminder of her life. It's a universal hub, so I think it's very appropriate that so many people from all walks of life, color and creed, are going to come through this, and her name is attached to it. The Stephanie Tubbs Jones Transit Center was just one of a few announcements made by RTA, including $10 million going to University Circle. To make that area another area that Stephanie was very, very proud to and pleased to be a part of. With so much positive news in a city Tubbs Jones loved and fought hard for, her sister Barbara Walker said there was only one thing left to do. This is truly um, an honor, and um, I'm riding the bus. <laughs> And the first RTA bus left that Stephanie Tubbs Jones Transit Center today at 3 o'clock, and now it's officially open for customers. Live in downtown Cleveland, I'm Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.